Standing by for a total downgrade momentarily. And we see the STS-102 crew members disembarking the crew transfer vehicle in the lead, Commander Jim Weatherby. Greeting them uh, in the front, we see Roy Bridges, center director here at Kennedy. Just after him, uh, shuttle director of processing here at Kennedy Space Center, Dave King. On the right-hand side of the screen, just barely in the screen, Jim Hall Sell, astronaut and launch integration manager here at Kennedy. Launch director Mike Leinbach also greeting the crew members. In the foreground on the left-hand side, Jim Vegas Kelly. All obviously in very good spirits. Mission Specialist Paul Richards there in the foreground. Dave King in the blue blazer speaking with Jim Vegas Kelly. And they'll proceed over to Orbiter Discovery for the customary walk around. Kind of kick the tires after their flight, having traveled 5.3 million miles in space. The STS-102 crew members have been awake since 4.42 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday. Commander Weatherby on the left pointing towards the tires and the landing gear for Space Shuttle Discovery. <laughs> Obviously happy to be home after an extended mission and visit to the International Space Station. Andy Thomas on this mission there on the far left of the screen. A one-time Mir resident of the Russian space station. Richards and Kelly, both rookies, first-time flyers on the space shuttle on mission STS-102. Chief of the Astronaut Office also with them, Charlie Precourt. And it looks like the crew is going to make their way over to the microphone and say a few words following their flight. Well, it's a great day to be back on the planet. Uh, I'll say that the Expedition 1 crew is doing great. They're up and walking around in the CTV. Uh, the docs don't let them walk around too much. They do have medical experiments that they have to do, and they'll take them back to crew quarters. Everyone's doing a great job uh, after landing Atlanta, or uh, not Atlantis, where are we on? <laughs> See, I've already forgotten. <laughs> Discovery did great. Uh, very few anomalies, and that's the way we want it. Uh, I can't say enough about my crew. The mission was superb. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better mission. I couldn't have asked for a better crew. They really did a good job. 
and it's nice to be back on the planet uh, and it's also nice to be back in Florida. We almost didn't get here, but I guess we uh, were able to make it and it was a good night to land. So thanks a lot for coming out. At this time, the crew members will pose for the traditional post-flight photo. This crew, obviously more than four people, total including the up and down crew of 10 astronauts aboard Discovery on this flight. Joining the four that we see walking away, Jim Voss, Yuri Usachev, Susan Helms now on board the International Space Station and in the crew transfer vehicle Sergei Krikalev, Commander Bill Shepard, Yuri Gudzinko. And now with the crew on their way back uh, they'll make their way towards the crew quarters at the Operation and Checkout Building at the Kennedy Space Center Industrial Area. Go through the full battery of standard physical exams and medical checks. Commander Weatherby reporting that the Expedition 1 crew already up and walking around inside the CTV. Complimenting the clean and excellent operation of Shuttle Discovery. execution of his crew on orbit doing such a great job and also commenting on the improved weather here in Florida for tonight's landing. 